Levi Kane. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, I think we're all happy to see that the, uh, the festival and the brewery have finally reached an agreement. But personally, as a resident of Highland Park, it just still doesn't sit quite right with me. And since the festival couldn't just let good enough be, then neither can I. They called down the thunder, and now it's time for them to ride the lightning. You see, you don't have to give away our money in order to entice businesses to come to Highland Park. You just have to do what's the right thing to do and be willing to admit that what we've been doing isn't working. And then you learn from that and you grow from that. So the, uh, Nancy and Andres have a conflict of interest, so earmuffs, right? Um, but the rest of you have the opportunity to show up like the leaders that you are. Uh, you have the chance to show all the businesses that are here, all the businesses from the outside looking in, and everyone on the sidelines watching to see what's going to happen next. You all have the opportunity to show them that Highland Park has their backs. And you can do this by implementing all, if not just at least part of, what I call the Equitable Revenue Enhancement Plan. Any entities operating south of Roger Williams Ave and east of Green Bay Road who are grossing $15 million or more in annual revenue effective immediately would be subject to the following four sections. <clears throat> Number one, a sales tax of 2.1% that is allocated specifically for our schools. Number two, a carbon emissions tax following the model of the progressive country of Sweden at $130 per metric ton. A, number three, a 1% naming, naming rights tax if the entity benefits from using the city's name or related designations. And number four, a 10% amusement tax modeled after the policies of neighboring Cook County. Embedded within this amusement tax will be an additional lump sum to account for any property tax revenue lost by the city due to exemptions such as, but not limited to, a nonprofit status. Currently, the festival has an agreement with the city, which they donate 5% of their revenue to us. But if you look at the details, it kind of just gets funneled right back to them. So not really helping us at all. Uh, so with this amendment to our tax code, using the festival as only an example, the money received for them would immediately double. Upon the expiration of that agreement that they currently have with the city, that number would double again, equating to nearly 5%, equating to actually over 5% of the city's entire annual budget. So if you actually do care about the city, like you say that you do, um, you will fight for the small businesses. Oh, you'll fight for the small businesses that are already here. You'll uh, put your creativity to good use and you'll show us all how smart you really are. Show us that you mean business and show us that you care. And Gita, yes, we've talked. No use in trying to amend the agreement that we already have. I think it's safe to say that the festival's agreement amendment privileges have officially been revoked. So for details, follow the link in the description below at amendhp.com slash plan. Now smash that like button, hit subscribe. See you later. <laughs> Thank you. Next speaker. You're welcome.